have we all been, dear family? All thanks to God who has kept us alive today. In this video, I am excited to be sharing with you all my simple homemade popcorn recipe. Popcorns are made from a type of corn called kernel corn. They are smaller in size than the normal corn. I will be making this popcorn in two ways. The first is what I call the plain popcorn and the second one is what I call the sweetened popcorn or the sugared popcorn. The plain popcorn is the type of popcorn that I make with little or no salt. So that type of popcorn is practically the best type of popcorn. It is healthy and it is low in calorie. It doesn't have salt. Adding salt is optional. The sugar type of popcorn is the one I make with sugar. It is usually sweet. I will be uploading the rainbow popcorn recipe in another video. So please, if you have not subscribed, hit that subscription button and remember to turn on the bell icon so that you will know when I upload the recipe for the rainbow popcorn. Join me. Let's start making this popcorn. To make this popcorn, I will be using kernel corn, cooking oil, I am using sunflower oil, vanilla flavor, that is optional, granulated sugar, salt. First, in a dry pan, add 2 tablespoons of cooking oil, use little oil. Depending on the quantity of corn you're making, don't put too much oil. Otherwise, the corn will not pop. Feel free to use any type of oil of choice. You can use butter, you can use any cooking oil of choice. You can as well use coconut oil. You know, coconut oil gives that beautiful flavor to your popcorns. That is the best oil to use when making popcorn. Half cup of kernel corn. Do not overcrowd the pot when pouring in the corn. It is always good to pour the corn to be in the same level with the bottom of the pan. Do not put too much corn so that they will pop evenly without getting burnt. Add a drop of vanilla flavor. This is optional but I love the flavor of vanilla in popcorn. You can give it a try. It is good. Add a pinch of salt. Remember, you can decide not to add salt. Feel free to double this measurement or multiply this measurement if you are making popcorn in large quantity. I am starting first on a low heat. When you pour the kernel corn in the pot, it doesn't start popping immediately. It has to get to a certain temperature before it will start popping. Once I hear the first pop, I will increase the heat. And when the corn starts popping uncontrollably, like when I cannot count the number of pops per second, I will gently reduce the heat. Whenever you're making popcorn, it is advisable to be safe by using a well-covered pot or vessel. When I can only hear pop sounds, maybe one or two pop sounds in 10 seconds, I will turn off the heat. You know, the pot has already, already generated enough heat that could pop the remaining corns in the pot. So, and make sure you shake the pot or the vessel from time to time so that all the corns can pour. Ooh, can you see that? See how beautiful the corn has popped. 
And good news is that they all popped. All the corn popped. You can see how beautiful the popcorns are. Very beautiful. They all popped nicely. To make this the sweetened popcorn, I will wipe off the pot with a kitchen paper towel. Wipe the pan. Then the same as we did for the plain popcorn, we are using same measurement and two tablespoons of sugar. See how beautiful they are? Popped so well, so nicely. So take it out from the pot, transfer into a clean bowl and store in an airtight food storage container if you are not using it immediately. Look at it everyone, our popcorn. They are crunchy, so beautiful. The plain popcorn and the sweetened popcorn. Hope we enjoy this video everyone. Until we come your way again in our next video, stay motivated and stay blessed and keep looking onto Jesus. It is only from him that our help comes. Thank you so much dear family. Bye. Bye.